how can we create internalized, lasting motivation for everyday should behaviors? These are the things people know they should be doing, but just struggle to muster the motivation to do on a regular basis. Uh, these images give you examples of the many such behaviors, right? Save for the future, uh, donate to charity, read to your kids if you're a parent, eat healthily, take care of the environment, uh, vote, don't text while you're driving, that sort of thing. Uh, and they, they also represent, by the way, many of the pretty serious and persistent social and policy challenges that could be improved pretty dramatically if we could find scalable ways, scalable and, and low enough cost that we could afford to scale them to get people to change their behavior. Now, uh, I'm not obviously close to the first person to realize that we need to get people to change their behavior. These uh, are some of the, uh, or just a couple of the huge number of examples of appeals people uh, see every day to change their behavior. Um, you can uh, you, exercise as medicine, uh, you can beat diabetes by eating a healthy diet. We can save the environment by turning off the lights. Uh, one thing I want you to notice, the main thing I want you to notice about these is that these are all pragmatic appeals, right? They focus on the self-interested or otherwise pragmatic reason why people should change uh, their behavior. Um, and the problem with that is that's telling the reader why the person who made the appeal thinks it's important, uh, or probably more accurately, the person who commis commissioned the appeal. Uh, but uh, the problem with that is that it, it relies on self-control or willpower to get people to change their behavior. And psychologists have known for some time, this is not a, a, a domain you want to be relying on. Right? Self-control and willpower works sometimes in acute situations. It does not work for sustained behavior change. Uh, and so I've been thinking a little bit about how to sort of focus this question even, even more, and, and, and the, the sort of focused version of the question that I've been focusing on is how can we get people to care about the things they don't already care about, but should? Um, a couple of things I want you to sort of keep in mind about should behaviors. One is, this doesn't represent the situation. People know what the responsible choice is. They're not, they're not in doubt about that. Right? And so telling them or reminding them of the pragmatic reasons why they should change their behavior is unlikely to be giving them new information. So it's not really clear even what the theory of change is behind a pragmatic appeal. Uh, other things that are sort of a little less sort of directly obvious are, uh, are problems like uh, myopia or intertemporal discounting. It's referred to in varying ways depending on whether you're talking to a psychologist or an economist, uh, but the central idea there is that we overvalue the immediate present and undervalue the distant future. And so, as with many should behaviors, uh, when a behavior requires a sacrifice in the immediate term in service of some distant pragmatic goal, the distant pragmatic goal is unlikely to win that fight. Relatedly but distinct is the notion of procrastination, which is simply, even if I do care about that distant pragmatic goal, there's rarely a compelling reason for me to start changing my behavior today rather than tomorrow. Right? And both of these uh, pose very serious challenges to, uh, to, be, to getting people to engage in should behaviors. And then the third important thing to remember I guess it's the fourth important thing I, I, I want to um, make top of mind for you, is that positive impact for many of these behaviors depends on sustained, repeated change in behavior. Um, and that's really important because there's been a, a major and, and important movement in behavior change recently called, called nudge. And most people uh, refer to it as nudge, and it's the idea that you can you can uh, set up choice environments so that the easiest thing to do is the thing that's in most people's best interest. Um, and it, it's a huge innovation. I think it's, a, it's probably the single most important innovation in, in, be, in the science of behavior change, I don't know, maybe ever. It's a, it's a hugely important uh, innovation. But the problem, the weakness of it is that it, it's not very well suited to the sorts of should behaviors that require sustained change across a wide range of contexts for the simple reason that we don't have control over enough of the context in which people are making decisions, right? If you're trying to get people to adopt healthy diets, you might be able to change the order of the menu items at a restaurant, 
but that's not going to transform very many people's lives because most people don't eat at one restaurant all the time. Uh, and so the sort of complementary idea uh, to nudge that I've been working on with my uh, collaborators is something I'm calling values alignment. Uh, and the idea is to identify existing strongly held and widely shared values uh, that the desired behavior might serve and then frame appeals for that behavior in terms of how they might serve this alternative value. And so the idea is you're changing how people think about the reason for engaging in should behaviors. It's, it becomes less about the distant pragmatic outcome you're, uh, you're pursuing and more about living in accordance with some value that is Im important to you in the immediate term. Uh, and, uh, and so the idea here, sort of from a theoretical perspective, I talked about intertemporal discounting, this problem that the distant pragmatic outcome just isn't a strong enough motivator for people. The idea of values alignment is that you replace that distant pragmatic outcome with an immediate symbolic outcome, the good feeling of knowing you're being the kind of person you, know, you feel you should be being. Uh, and when I say values, I really do mean values broadly construed, right? What a person thinks is important in life, what has uh, immediate motivational force. 